Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, 23 Flavors of Stitching. My name is Kirsten, and today is floss tube number 13. Um, it has been two weeks since I have filmed, which I don't know if that will be changing at all with it being three weeks until the end of the semester. I don't know if I'm going to have more stitchy time or less stitchy time or how that's going to work, but for right now I have quite a bit done. Um, if you saw my last video, there were a couple things that I wanted to finish because there was no reason why I shouldn't have had them done for months now. Um, and then I had a couple of new starts that I wanted to do, which I haven't done all of them yet. And then there were a couple of works in progress that I wanted to get um, some more progress on. Excuse me. So, I figure we'll just hop right in with my finishes. There's actually one that I forgot to show you. It's a fully finish um, that I forgot to show you in my last video. Because I filmed that video, I think I tried three times, and I even had to change, like, I had to stop filming it one day and film it a different day because I just couldn't make it through. So, if I did show it, I'm sorry if I didn't. Here it is. This is my fully finish of Spring Tulips by Glory Bee Designs. It was a free pattern. I can't remember how I found it. Um, but it's a complimentary pattern. So, mounted it. It doesn't look the greatest, but I'm happy that it's fully finished. So, and it's just been sitting right in my window so that I can see it every single time I come into my office for the spring season. So, and it has some stuff in it, random stuff that probably should not be in there, but that's okay. Okay, and then next are finishes that are for uh the stitching is finished um so first i'm so excited first is which better by the frosted pumpkin stitchery and i think it is absolutely cute um in Whenever I showed this last, all I needed to do was the border, and um, since I stitched it on white, you couldn't see the white from like the lollipop or the candy corn, so I just needed to do some back stitching, and I just needed to finish the border, and so it should have been done, and it just wasn't, so here it is. I haven't figured out how I'm going to fully finish it yet, but that's okay. Still has the hoops mar hoop marks, but that's okay too. Next, I finished my Colorado Highway sign, which I got off of Etsy from Ancora Crafts. And I... Um, On the picture for the design, it has a different highway number on it. I purchased one where you could uh, customize the highway. So, I am so sorry. My dogs are being so loud. Okay. This is my highway sign. Yes, I know there's not that much of a border. This was my oldest whip. Uh, I started it, this, I think this was my second project I ever started, so I didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but this is my Colorado Highway sign. There is a different red right here. It's fine. I was stitching 20, 2020 Super Bowl. I think, and I grabbed the wrong red, but that's okay. It was in the dark, so that's why I couldn't tell. But 
Highway 139 is almost to Utah in Colorado, uh, and I'm sure you have heard me tell this speech before, but it is the highway that we would take from the town that I went to school at, which is Rangeley, uh, to get to Grand Junction, which is the closest city. Um, and so we took this highway many times a year. Um, my car broke down on this highway while I was taking someone to the airport one time. It was, <laughs> this highway means a lot to me and, um, I love Colorado. So here's my highway sign. I love it. I think I may stitch it again with the called for colors just so that it's a darker blue, but I don't know. I like that it was my second project ever. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, but oh, I love that place. So I grew up, I grew up, I became an adult there. So that's what I mean by grew up. Okay. And then my last finish is Piper's Dragon. Um, which I believe I talked about in my last video. Piper is my cousin-in-law's daughter. Um, she's basically a niece to my husband and, uh, my sisters-in-law. And, um, she really loves dragons. And I stitched a unicorn for her sister. Um, and I was trying to find a dragon to do for Piper, and I found this one from my first stitch. I believe I found it at Joann's, actually. And I did not do the stripes on the wings, but, um, I converted it to pinks and purples because those are her favorite colors. And it, well, I guess this is another fully finish, but this is it. They will be here pretty soon, I think. And they'll be spending quite a bit of time in Utah. They live in Texas, so. Yeah, that's Piper's Dragon. I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited for her to get it. Um... Whenever they're here, they usually spend the majority of the time at my in-laws' house. So we see them quite a bit. Um, and next, I have one new start. There were a few that I wanted to do in the last couple weeks. I just didn't get around to it. And it's not like I've been doing a ton of schoolwork. I think the most schoolwork I've done in the last week mostly happened yesterday because I'm having to research some things, but um, I just, instead of doing my starts, I was working on those three projects and so I was able to get things finished and now that things are finished, I can, I feel better about starting other things. So my next start is the Easter Flip It uh, by Lizzie Kate. And that's what it'll look like when it's finished. And I have a minuscule start on this. I'm doing it on 14 count oatmeal, Ada, and I just have started, those are the bunny's hands. So I still have to go that way, but the most minuscule start you will ever see on this guy, but that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. He'll get there eventually, right? So there's my start on that. Um... Then some works in progress. I have the serendipity stitch along that Fat Quarter Shop is doing. 
and um, I didn't like having it on my computer screen. I didn't like having to stare at my computer screen. So I printed it off. I'm not going to show it to you. Printed it off. Um, and I'm leaving it in the hoop because I really... So here's what I've gotten done. I did this block, I think. And this block, I started, no. I did this block, started this block, and then I came down to the second release because they released the second part of it. I haven't had a ton of time to work on it um, just because it was on my computer, but now that it's printed off, I should be able to get um, quite a bit of progress done on that. Uh, I don't know when the third release is coming. I think it's next week. Um, but I would like to at least get the first row done. And after that blue block that I had started, there's only one more block of, on that first row. So maybe I'll work on that today after I do some homework or before I do some homework. Probably won't do any school until after dinner. Um, and then my last work in progress is Garden Party from 2x2 two two Cross Stitch on Etsy. Um, I posted this on Instagram that I had gotten some more done. And I really... I have to take it off the hoop in order for you to see it, so, sorry. Um, okay. Sorry, you're gonna have the hoop marks on it. Okay. So. Here is garden party so far I am officially done I might have a couple hold on we're gonna fold this um I might have a couple of stitches like down here over here but for the most part I am done with the bottom like the very very bottom I still have some to do over here but it is looking really good. So I don't remember where it was the last time I showed you, but I have done these. I finished the red flowers. I finished this flower down here. I finished these leaves. So it's looking good. I'm so happy with it. Um. I'm thinking of starting some type of rotation or like days of the week to work on things. Um, I'm sure most of you watch Priscilla and Chelsea and they do like Santa Sunday, Merry Monday, Witchy Wednesday, you know, those days of the week. And I'm thinking of maybe doing something similar, but I don't work on a lot of Christmas like they do. Um, I kind of work on whatever, in case you haven't noticed. Also, why 23 flavors of stitching is fitting, because I don't really have, um, like, one thing that I do, or one thing that I work on. So, I'm thinking that maybe for this one I could do Flower Friday and I work on this every Friday until it gets finished. Or um, actually in some of my plans that I was going to talk about, um, I was wanting to do like a sampler Saturday because I have that Canada sampler that I haven't shown in months. Um, 
that I'm wanting to do for my dad, but I haven't worked on it. But if I have Sampler Saturday, then maybe I will want to get it done. Um, so I don't know. Um, I thought it would be a good idea because I'm trying to make Stitch Mania plans, but, um, kind of like how March Madness was in the middle of me going somewhere, um, Mania is also going to be in the middle of me going somewhere. Um, it will be mine and my husband's second wedding anniversary. Um, it was our three-year anniversary of being together on April 6th. That was when we met. Um, so, kind of, yeah. So I'm trying to finish, trying to do mania plans. I was thinking every other day or every four days or every five days or something. Maybe four new starts, one a week. I'm, I really don't know. I have a lot of options. Like I, so I printed out the names of some patterns that I have kitted up or the ones that I'm working on and I have them on a bulletin board and I have I have a few that I could start um I could do mania all out and do 31 new starts if I wanted to I think I have 35 projects of ones that I'm looking at and there are some that I really want to get done so I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm trying to figure out trying to figure it out so we'll see I'm not gonna put garden party away yet cuz I got some of these magnetic ties I had to get new ones because these aren't very strong so I have to switch them out so I'm not gonna put garden party away yet and let's see so Next I have some purchases because why not? Um, I've got my basket. It's not as full this time. Don't worry. Um, I got a couple patterns. I got more chocolate bunnies by Hands On Design. I saw everyone and their grandma and their dog starting this, and I really wanted it, so I picked it up at my local needle workshop. I also got Plum Street Samplers A Hundred Ways, and it's a Jane Austen quote. Um, I signed up for the Serendipity... Stitch along with the Saf Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts. Mount Sapphire? Sapphire Mountain? I don't know. I signed up for the Stitch Along slash Book Club. And I haven't even started Sense and Sensibility yet. Um, haven't started reading it. Haven't started stitching it. Um, I was actually going, I also bought the Pride and Prejudice pattern that they did, um, before, and I was thinking that if I listened to it while I stitch it, that way I don't have to be watching anything, but I can still be listening to something, um, I thought it would be a good idea to listen to the books while I stitched the pattern for the book. Um... Anyway, so now I've been on a Jane Austen kick. So, I got this. I think it's really cute. I also got all the threads for it. Um, I also got, because 
I don't know why I did. <laughs> but I got from Snarky Crafter Designs, I got the Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility book needle minders. Because they're so cute. I'm so excited for them. Let's see. Come on. Okay, that might have to be good enough. Anyway, they're super cute. Next, from Heartful on Etsy, um, I got, so I don't drink coffee. Um, I do, however, drink a lot of hot chocolate. And for the Cozy Cafe Stitch Along, I wanted a needle minder of something that I actually drink. So, I ordered this. She's from the UK, so it took a couple of weeks. But, oops. But it is a hot chocolate needle minder. And I love it. So excited. And then... Apparently I got some more packing. Um... I believe it was Kristen from Steel City Stitchers. I have to think about how to say her name because my name is opposite. Um, she posted, he is not here, he is risen by, um, or he is risen by Little House Needleworks on her story on Easter and I wanted it so I got it. I think it's super cute. And then I also got Easter Peep Parade by Brenda Gervais. Um, because I think it's cute. And I've been wanting it for a while, so I just decided to get it. And it's cute. And then I got Sunflowers Make Me Happy. Um, and it was designed by Paola Rizzi. And it's cute. And I think it's the perfect like summer pattern. I'm a summer person. Um, let's see. I also bought a pattern from the Witchy Stitcher and it says just bottle that shit right up and it has a bottle of emotion. I think it's cute. And then I got an order from Top Knot Stitcher. And I got one thing that wasn't a PDF download and two patterns that were physical patterns. So first is Floss Tube Friends from October House Fiber Arts. And that's, that's the pattern. I think it's cute. And then um, a Hello from Liz Matthews release from Expo, I want to say, is the Engravers chart. I don't know when I will get this done, but I absolutely love it. I want to finish it just like that, too. I have to find the right kind of fabric. But yeah. It's cute. Okay. That is it for patterns. Um, oh. I didn't notice this. I got a needle minder from Abby from Top Knot Stitcher and I love it. I didn't even notice that it was in the package. Um, I feel like I ordered it but I can't remember. <laughs> but it is so cute because 
it has cactus on it and I love cacti it's the only plant I can keep alive I feel like I ordered it I honestly can't remember now but it's cute I'm gonna use it <laughs> okay my dog is barking I think something was delivered next is not really cross stitch related um but it's stickers that i ordered from etsy that are cross stitch related anyway i got them from bex stitches rebecca and i got a floss pack sticker and I got a hand with scissors and floss. And I think they are so cute. I will have her shop listed below and linked below in case you guys want to get some stickers from her. She has some really cute stickers. And I thought they could go on my water bottle or on my laptop. Next, I had to order a box of 823 because I could not find it anywhere and I needed it for two patterns so I ordered a box now I won't need it for hopefully a little while and then while I was at my local needle workshop I picked up some floss because I picked up floss to be able to start Hare's Hunt, and then I found that Jane Austen pattern, and so I got some Weak Style Works that was called for for the Jane Austen pattern. Cute. Um, that was Weak Style Works Charlotte's Pink, and I don't know how to say the other one, so I'm not even gonna try. And last but not least are my backup fabrics from the You Are My Sunshine trio from Stitchrovia. Um, in my last video, you saw that I was disappointed with how the fabric Cherub came because it was mostly green. So I was trying to find some other fabrics for... Uh, you'll Never Know, which is the You'll Never Know Dear How Much I Love You, Please Don't Take My Sunshine Away, and it was stitched on pink, and I really liked that idea, so I ordered Cherub because I had also or ordered um, hand-dyed fabrics, so I decided to try something else. Um, I got Confetti Fabric Flare in 14 Count Ada. Um... I figured that way it could still be kind of gender neutral, but I could still um, do the pink floss. Because if you guys... I don't know if it was the last one. I'm not pregnant. I have no plans on getting pregnant within the next year. However, I don't know how pregnancy will affect me and I really want the you are my sunshine trio to be done and finished for my first child's nursery if it is allowed for me to carry a child anyway I really want them done for the nursery I don't want to be stitching in a rush to get it done or to get all three of them done, so I figure I'll start now. Um, and hopefully be ahead of the curve. So, confetti Ada. We'll see. Um, in case I don't like the confetti, I don't want um, you'll never know, dear, to be the only one on plain pink fabric. So, I got 14 count touch of, touch of pink Ada. That looks about right. 
and I didn't have a yellow fabric except for that Midas that I showed in my last video. So I got 14 count lemon chiffon. It's very pale yellow. And I have some plain gray, so I'm not worried about the gray. But I didn't, like I said, I didn't want the last one to be the only one on plain fabric if I could, if I didn't like the confetti. So I ordered the lemon in case I needed to switch it from Midas. And I think that's why I didn't start that project yet. It was because I wasn't sure. So that's about it. Um, I have... I'm working on one final presentation for school. I'm working on a rough draft of a final paper. Um, what else am I doing? That's kind of it. I only have two projects due for the end of the semester. Um, so I don't know how much stitching I'll be getting done. Um, my plan before the end of April is to start the You Are My Sunshine pattern. So the one that actually says You Are My Sunshine, My Only Sunshine. Um, I'm going to start finalizing my mania plans. I'm going to figure out exactly how many projects I want to do and which projects they're going to be. And I'm going to finish kidding all of those up. And then I'm going to figure out my... Uh, my days of the week that I want to stitch um, because I really feel like that will help me quite a bit even if I only get like one episode of a show a day I stitch only for that much amount of time at least that's 20 to 45 minutes of something getting done instead of nothing so I hope that you all have a very nice day. Um, I'm going to try to get this up tonight. Um, I hope that you all get a ton of stitchy time or as much as you want. I hope that you all are doing well. And I want to say thank you for everyone who has been commenting on my videos and liking it. Um... I really appreciate you guys uh, who do comment. Um, I I really like to respond to you all. I think it's I think it's really fun, um, especially because you know, like I said in my very first video, which probably half of you couldn't even hear. <laughs> Um, my husband can say, that looks great, honey, all day long, but, um, it's still not the same as someone who, um, actually knows. So, thank you everyone for commenting, thank you everyone for subscribing, I really appreciate it. Um, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, I would like to do a giveaway at some point, um... So I want to say a hundred. If we ever, <laughs> if we ever make it to a hundred, I want to do some sort of giveaway. So if you like my video, please like, um, comment on it, and subscribe. And that would help me get to a hundred so that one of you could win something. Um, so. I will see you guys in a couple of weeks, um, and until then, happy stitching. Bye!